Talking about the future only gets you so far, but building the future, well, that's different. As we have for the past 75 years, Coates is focused on creating the toughest tools of the trade for shops across the country. Developing cutting edge machinery and tire changers for the modern shop to transform your business right here in Nashville, Tennessee. You need a durable machine that can go the extra mile and then some. A tire changer that's quick and simple to use, taking the hassle out of the hustle. Introducing Coates totally redesigned Max Tire Changer Series. This machine was designed from the ground up with you in mind. This is the tire changer you've always relied on, now like never before. Built on the best platform in the tire business, Max features an ultra durable chassis to handle life in a high volume shop. We know how hard you work each day, so we put Max through over 250,000 test cycles to make sure it was up to the challenge. Experience the power of the toughest tire changer on the market. Available with single speed and two speed electric motors or an optional air motor, we make Max with enough power and speed to handle whatever you can throw at it. Versatility is key. You need a machine that doesn't just change passenger tires. You need one that powers through even the toughest assemblies when others just can't hack it. We made our new dual nozzle bead sealer system standard on every Max model. With the press of a foot pedal, you have a completely hands-free way to seat even the toughest tires twice as fast. Our Max 90 and 80 also feature the most flexible and robust bead loosener in the industry with both hand or foot operation, so you can choose how you work. The design also allows for better access to the bead on larger assemblies. Max uses our patented assist devices like our Robo Arm and Robo Roller to keep sidewalls and tough beads where they need to be and take the strain off technicians. Available exactly when and where you need them and completely out of the way when you don't. Max is the workhorse machine that you need to get the job done right the first time. And just like all our products, Max is backed by the same factory trained nationwide service team here to always keep you up and running. So what does this mean for you? It means you'll be able to get all your jobs done faster and more efficiently than ever before. We believe in doing, building something better and helping you do what you do best. So let the others keep talking. We'll keep doing. Coats, engineered to perform, designed to last. Hey everyone, I'm Maddie Weiner, editor of Tire Review, and I'm joined by Rick Kennedy and Ben Pryor from Coats to talk about their new exciting launch of the Max Tire Changer series. Guys, thanks for being here with us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So the Max Tire Changer series has a very interesting story behind how it was developed. Can you kind of go into that a little bit? Yeah, over the last few years, uh, we've uh, done a lot of engineering work at our, our facility in Nashville. And I think most importantly, uh, a lot of really great feedback from our customers. Uh, we've talked to hundreds of technicians, store managers, uh, fleet operators all around the country uh, and everywhere in between uh, to get their feedback on, on what they like and what they don't like, but I think most importantly, what the problems that they have using the equipment and uh, all of that feedback is, is directly engineered into the product. Yeah, so can you kind of go into that a little bit more? What were some of the issues or problems that uh, tire dealers, technicians were bringing up in the field as, as you were talking about um, you know, this product and improvements that could be made? Yeah, um, people told us that uh, they want better inflation, they want better clamps, they want more range, they want uh, the ability to do wider wheels. Uh, and I think um, kind of from a, a user experience standpoint, they wanted more flexibility in how they use the product. And so, uh, you know, we've got a lot of great different options uh, on the Max uh, that allows them to work the way they want to work. Yeah, no, and, and that's great to hear. And so what, what industry trends um, are you all hoping to address with this new launch? Um, ben, can you maybe point to that a little bit? Yeah, certainly. So I think uh, one of the things that's most important, you know, when you take a look at the Max versus our, our predecessor, the X-Series, is it's very usable and, and, and easy to use, and it's very similar from the look and feel, which addresses the technician, you know, shortage and retention problem that the industry's you know, faces every single year. Right. And so somebody that's familiar with the X-Series can step right into the Max. 
Now, on top of that, I think Rick just highlighted several of the improvements that we still were able to build in and still achieve that familiarity. Yeah, yeah, and that, that's great for, uh, you know, technicians that are familiar with the X series, the series that uh, precedes this, but, you know, maybe want something new, something to handle, uh, wheel assemblies that they're seeing now and, and those in the future that will come into the bays in the future, correct? Sure, yeah, uh, Max is really well equipped to do more or less anything that comes into your shop. Uh, anything from a, a six inch golf cart tire uh, all the way up to a, a, a 30 inch uh, show car, you know, that you wow. would see at a, at a trade show or something. So, uh, you know, uh, stores don't have to turn away business, uh, you know, whereas previously, well, that's too big. I can't do that on my machine or, you know, that's really too small. Mm -hmm. I don't want to deal with that. Really, I think with one machine, uh, you can do, uh, like I said, more or less anything that comes to the store. And I think a, another great benefit that's built into the Max series is that this new series can build and, and grow with you as an owner of a shop. Um, we like to say that it's and. So you, you get the 70 or the Max 70, and if you need to upgrade for another capability, you can upgrade it to the 80. And if you want to upgrade it to the 90, because there's a new set of customers or, or fitments that you want to grow into it and really focus in the market, you just and add to it. So it's modular, you can build to it. And uh, yeah, so, you know, from an ownership standpoint, you don't have to worry about, you know, the next trend that you're not um, either addressing or, or that you're not aware of. Right, yeah, you know, that makes sense. And, and going from, kind of going off of what you're saying, the upgradability of it, um, going from the 70 to the 80 to the 90, um, can you give an example of something that can be upgraded to help with that shop productivity and efficiency? Yeah, um, the, so from the 70 to the 80, uh, you can upgrade uh, in the field. You know, you can uh, do this at your shop. It, it's, uh, it's a very simple process. You can add the uh, foot pedal control for the bead loosener. Uh, you can add the robo roller, uh, which is really great for uh, ultra low profile, uh, you know, kind of stiff sidewalls, things like that, that okay. are uh, a little bit harder to manage. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, you know, the Max is really flexible, and, and again, it, like I think, like we've said, it's it will grow with your business as the work that you're doing changes uh, on into the future. Yeah, no, that that's great. So uh, this machine, this series of tire changers, uh, launched at the beginning of April. Is that right? Yep, yeah. That's last month. Okay. Okay. So what's the what's been the reaction so far uh, from the industry? Uh, ben, can you maybe point to that? Yeah, certainly, it's been exceptional. Um, and quite frankly, I think uh, we weren't. We're surprised at the reception, but not overly surprised because a lot of the feedback that and the changes that we made to it came directly from the technicians and, and the people that use it. So we're very happy with and very proud of it, uh, specifically being built in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, if anyone would ever want to come by and actually take a tour, we'd welcome that. And you can see your machine being made. Awesome. Very cool. So Coates Greater Strategy, let's talk about that a little bit. How does the Mac series align with uh, yeah, Coates, Coates Greater Strategy in the market, their go-to market strategy. Yeah, certainly. So um, we talked about the durability. We talked about the flexibility. Um, and our, our kind of motto is engineering, engineered to perform, designed to last. Mm -hmm. So it's commitment and a promise from us, the Coates company, in order to grow with your business. Um, this platform will do it, have a durable product. This, this product will do that. And then it sets the platform for the future on a lot of exciting things that we're working on today in the engineering and, and our product department for the next generation as well. That's great. Well, uh, I'm excited to see it in action and we're gonna hand it off to Kyle to see the equipment in action. Thanks, Maddie. We're gonna start at the top of our Max line, which is our Max 90. And if you guys have any questions as we're going through, please feel free to drop those down in the chat box and someone will stand by to answer those questions for you. We're gonna be changing a uh, 40ZR18. This is a uh, fairly common high performance assembly. Uh, this particular tire here has a 
pretty big rim guard on it. It's very stiff, very non-compliant. And like a lot of these uh, performance oriented wheels, this wheel here has a uh, fairly narrow and uh, steep drop. So as we uh, evaluate this, this wheel here and uh, make sure that it looks good to change, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, wheel it over to our uh, hand operated power in, power out bead breaker. And I always start with the uh, TPMS center at the 12 o'clock. This particular wheel does not have a TPMS sensor, but it's always a good habit to get into to treat every wheel as, as if it has a uh, TPMS sensor um, in, inside it. Now you're gonna notice that I'm using our uh, side mounted bead breaker here uh, with my hand. It is power in and power out. It's incredibly precise. And that means that I am able to uh, get around this uh, rim guard here, break this bead and uh, not damage the uh, wheel in any way. So you can see how easy that, that is. We, we, we were able to uh, break that bead. Our TPMS sensor is nice and safe. And this is a great time to get in there and lube that bead and lube the drop center of the uh, wheel as well. That's what I like so much about this power and power out bead, bead breaker is that not only is it uh, precise, but it also stays exactly where you put it. So if you need to get in there and do something or lube the bead in the uh, drop center as, as I just did there, uh, this is a great, great way to uh, do it. Now we'll go ahead and rotate the tire 180 degrees and we'll put our TPMS down at approximately the six o'clock position where it's nice and safe. So many technicians still choose to use a, a foot op operated bead, bead breaker. Uh, they, they like this because it's fast and it's easy and they like to control the bead breaking action with their foot instead of their hand. With the uh, Max 90, that is definitely uh, an option. As you can see here, I'm simply going to use my uh, foot and uh, now I can break the bead and have both of my hands free. And so for technicians that, uh, that enjoy that, that feature, it is definitely there for, for them. And so uh, it's the technician's choice. And now we'll go ahead and do the uh, same for the inboard side of the uh, wheel. Again, TPMS sensor at the, uh, at the 12 o'clock. And then 180 degrees uh, to approximately the six o'clock. So now uh, that our bead is uh, broken and we've got a little bit of lube in, inside there, I am going to remove our decorative center cap here. Anytime you have a uh, delicate wheel such as this, it's always a great idea to make sure that uh, you're using a uh, soft gripping jaw such as our Grip Max 2. This is an excellent way to have a very durable rim clamping solution uh, while ensuring that you're not damaging wheels, whether they're black powder coated wheels or uh, a reverse drop center wheel where you need to clamp on the uh, cosmetic side. Uh, having the right accessories and, and the right tools for the, for the job uh, really makes a huge difference. So now to get this wheel clamped in, uh, we'll go ahead and bring our uh, robo arm in. Okay. So next I'm going to show you how to mount and dismount this uh, 40ZR18 using our leverless mount demount head here. So we'll go ahead and position our uh, wheel and tire and we'll put our head down here. A leverless head is a great way to uh, change tough assemblies like this without damaging the wheel and uh, with, without having to work too hard. A, a leverless head really makes a technician's job uh, fast and very, very simple when it comes to dis dismounting, especially a, a top bead such as this. We'll bring our uh, robo roller in and this is gonna help us to, uh, to lube this tire up here. And we'll take our, our lube brush and add a little bit of lube to the uh, sidewall and the bead of, of this tire here. 
and we're going to uh, put our TPMS sensor just underneath the tail of our leverless mount D demount head. And next I'm, I'm gonna use our uh, robo roller here to create a, an, an opening for our leverless tool head to drop down into the bead of the tire there. Then I'm gonna take our uh, robo arm and have it here at the uh, ready. Okay, now we're ready for the uh, dismount phase of the top bead. And what I did there is called unfurling the bead. I simply reversed the tire changer probably two to three degrees to unfurl that bead and get it resting properly on top of the uh, leverless mount, Dean mount head. And we'll go ahead and rotate. And now for our bottom bead, I put the uh, leverless tool head down, simply pick the tire up and rotate. And that's probably the easiest demount of a 40ZR18 uh, that uh, you're likely to see, uh, and also very, very quick. Now we'll take our uh, tire off here, and we'll go ahead and uh, lube it up. Lubing the bead with a good uh, paste lubricant is uh, always critical. Uh, to prevent damage, and uh, we always lube the inside and the outside of the, of the bead. That really prevents problems and stops the tire from uh, either binding against the wheel or binding against the mount demount head. Now to mount the top bead, we'll bring our robo roller in. This is gonna stop the tire from climbing over the mount demount head. And then I'll bring our robo arm in right beside it. And I kinda like to preload a tough tire like this and uh, get all the extra tire kind of on this side of the wheel. It makes it a little bit easier for us to push this tire down into the drop center as, as we're mounting this, this top bead. Okay, tire's getting pulled into the drop center all the way around. Our TPMS is nice and safe. And I'm gonna continue to rotate while I pick up our robo arm. And we just mounted the uh, top bead on a uh, 40ZR18. Uh, absolutely uh, easy as pie, uh, T TPMS safe, and uh, this is a great tire changer for super tough assemblies like this, custom wheels, chrome cladded wheels, uh, reverse drop center wheels. This is a great tire changer to have for any shop that needs to be able to change these delicate, uh, highly expensive wheels without damage. Next, we're gonna change a uh, more common tire size. This is a uh, 17 inch, which is uh, very typical on half ton pickups. This is uh, what most tire shops are gonna see on a day-to-day uh, -day basis. Uh, the changing process is uh, the same. Of course, we're still gonna use our uh, Max 90 with our uh, leverless head. We're gonna go ahead and we'll uh, break our bead. And again, if a technician has a preference for a foot-operated bead breaker, you can always use, use that too. There's a lot of guys out there that, uh, that prefer that style of bead breaker, uh, whether it's for speed or, or for comfort. But that's, that's what's so great about the Max 90, is that uh, either one is, is available to the technician. Being able to thoroughly break down this bead, especially on, on the back side, makes a big difference when it comes time to change the, the tire and dismount the, the bottom bead.
Okay, and we'll do just like we did before. We'll bring our robo roller in. And I really like using the robo roller on the dismount of, of the top bead because it really uh, allows me to get in there with my lube brush and really lubricate the top bead of, of this tire really, really well, which pays dividends when you're trying to change a really tough wheel and tire. And then to dismount the bottom bead, put the head down, lift the tire up. You can see how easy it is to grab that bottom bead using the uh, leverless head. You're not struggling with a bar, reaching across the tire, or having some, someone else hold it up for you into the drop center on uh, the opposite side. And now we just simply rotate and dismount that bottom bead. Now to put this tire back on, we'll go ahead and make sure it's properly lubed. A lot of guys you'll see will slam on this uh, lower bead with, without using the mount demount head. When the mount D, D mount head is uh, a leverless style like, like this, that's nice and slim, there's really no, no reason for you to slam that bottom bead on. It literally goes on just that easy. We'll go ahead and get our robo arm in. And that's how easy it is to change everyday tires such as this 17-inch uh, or more difficult assemblies like that 40ZR18 is on our 90X leverless changer. So you saw how fast and easy changing either one of those assemblies is on our top of the Max Line 90 series tire changer here. We are using a two-speed motor, which means the technician gets to choose either the uh, lower speed or the fast speed, wherever the technician is, is most comfortable. Next, we'll go ahead and change tires on our new Max 80. Uh, this machine here is very, very similar to the Max 90 that we just used, except it uses a traditional mount demount head, but it still has all the great Max features like the dual inflation blast heads here at the back that's standard on all Max machines. And just like the 90, it also has the power and power out bead breaker that is hand uh, or foot operated. Uh, and we're really going to uh, concentrate on the differences be between the standard standard mount demount head and the leverless head that, that was on the uh, Max 90. So we'll go ahead and use our, uh, using our power in, power out bead breaker here. Uh, this bead breaker is either hand op operated or foot operated. So for technicians that prefer a more traditional foot operated bead breaker, uh, we do have that.
So the great thing about the Max 80 is that just like the Max 90, it does include the Robo Roller. And the Robo Roller is a great addition for helping the technician not only mount the top bead, but also demount it as, as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Robo Roller to push down on the tire and create an opening for me to slip the tool into. Once I've used the Robo Roller to create the gap, I'm going to go ahead and put my tire tool in. And now I can simply remove the uh, Robo Roller. I'm going to use my Robo Arm to push 180 degrees out from, from our tool head. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull this bead over. Get our Robo Arm out of the way. And we're ready to dismount the top bead. Now for our bottom bead, it's the same operation. And using our lube brush, we'll put a good layer of lube on both sides of the tire. And we'll go ahead and mount our bottom bead. And now we'll use our Robo Roller again to mount the top bead. And I always like to pre-position the uh, robo arm during this phase of the demounting of the top bead. And I like to push uh, extra deep during this first part. This makes sure that the top bead of, of the tire sinks right into the drop center. And that's how easy it is to change a 40ZR18 on the new Coats Max 80. Next, we're going to change this 17 inch assembly on the Max 80 as well. And again, this is a typical tire that you might see on an F-150, uh, Ford Explorer. Uh, a lot of uh, S SUVs and smaller trucks are uh, using this, this exact tire size. This is pretty typical for what's out on the road and in shops today. Again, hand and foot op operated bead breaker. You can see with our standard mount demount head here, whether it's uh, the poly or the uh, metal, uh, having this uh, set up properly uh, makes uh, the tire uh, very quick to change and also ensures that there won't be any damage. Now using the robo arm like that to lift up on the opposite side of a heavy tire and place it in the drop center is a great way to save your back and make sure that you're able to dismount the bottom bead of heavy tires like this without hurting yourself or causing damage to the bottom bead of the tire. And again, these truck tires that have these thicker beads like this, they really do lots, they really do like lots of lube on the inner and uh, the uh, outer bead as well. So always make sure that I get, get the inner on, uh, on both sides.
And we can use the robo roller on, on this tire too, just to make sure that if the tire does decide to uh, ride up on our mount D, D mount head, that robo roller is gonna keep the tire right down where it belongs. And then of course, we'll always use our uh, robo arm for tough tires to ensure everything stays in the drop center. And that's the Max 80. This is our new Max 70 changer. Now the Max 70 is the most basic model in our new Max lineup. It still has all the great DNA and all the great structure, robustness, as the rest of the Max line, but uh, you'll, you'll notice that it does not have a Robo Roller standard. Uh, it does not have the Grip Max 2 jaws, and of course, it only has a hand operated bead breaker. But any of those things can be added as your business grows in the future to make it either a Max 80 or, or a Max 90 again as, as your business grows. The powerful hand-operated bead breaker on the Coats Max 70 makes breaking down even tough tires uh, fast and easy and allows you to get through a set of four uh, much, much quicker than a lesser machine that might struggle or uh, might cause you to have to take a few extra runs at uh, each bead. At the end of the day, that's a pretty big time savings. Go ahead and bring in our uh, standard mount, D-mount head here. And just as before, we'll mount uh, both the bottom and top bead with uh, lots of lube here. Lube makes even the toughest tires go on nice and easy. And again, for those tough tires that never seem to want to cooperate and drop down into the drop center when you're uh, uh, attempting to uh, mount the top bead, the uh, robo arm that's standard on the Max 70 is a great addition. And that's our Max 70. And as you can see, our entire lineup of Coates Max Series tire changers has a machine for everybody. Thanks, Maddie. Thanks, Kyle. So, guys, where, if a tire dealer wants to see this in action, where, where can they go? Yeah, certainly. Um, a, we'd like to extend an invitation to anyone that would want to come to Nashville and, and tour the factory. They could see it in person. Uh, we'll also be attending Apex and SEMA 
Uh, to get more information, you can contact your local Coats rep or go to our new website. Awesome, great. Well, Rick, Ben, thanks so much for joining us today and telling us about the Max series of tire changers. Very exciting launch. Thanks for having me. Thank us. you.